we're looking at? Well, we're looking at the EMP Nimble, and I am really, really pleasantly surprised by this. I knew I was going to like it just by the aesthetics, but I, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of taken by it. I really like it. And apparently there's a larger version, but we're not going to talk about that here. We're going to turn down the volume and listen to a little bit of music and then talk about it a little bit after. So I saw a picture of this knife the very first time on uh, Metal Complex's channel. He posted it up on Instagram. He posted up a picture of it, said it was coming in, and, and he had gotten one in. And I saw it, and I was like, I really want to get to see one of these. And then I saw a video of it on Jared's channel. I'm not going to lie. I don't watch Metal Complex's channel as much as I should, but I always watch stuff that Jared puts up. So this was on Neve's Knives, and I saw it, and I was like, wow, I really want to get to see that. And Lefty over at Lefty EDC was kind enough to send his along. And uh, guys, this thing is this thing is a champ. I will tell you, I get so many production knives in now. I get so much stuff that's just, you know, it, it's pretty vanilla and it's all standard and things like that. Are they good knives? Yeah. Are some of them great? Yeah. But they don't always pop. Sometimes they're like the difference between professional singer and karaoke. Like all the parts are there, but they're just not the same. And every once in a while, you get one that really just pops. And this is one of those. So, guys, I really, I can't tell you, I really like this. Even if it's something I probably wouldn't carry, I can look at this and I can appreciate it. It is really, really good. So, let's, let's not talk about it any further here. Let's turn this around. We'll get some specs. We'll get some weight. And we'll just take a good close look at this nice, nice little EDC fix or folder. Let's turn around. This is that EMP Nimble that came in from Lefty over at Lefty EDC. Go follow his channel. Lefty's, Lefty, Lefty's content's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and we'll get some specs and everything out of the way. We'll get some size. We'll get some weights. So basically what you're looking at here is a 3.1 inch full flat ground drop point blade that has a unique uh, unique shape to it. It's a clip point, drop point, a harpoon, whatever, you know, a spear point, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's kind of in the middle. Uh, it's really nicely shaped blade. Uh, you're looking at a M390 blade, and it is done, they have it listed as 3.5 millimeters blade stock thickness. So let's go ahead and look at the blade stock thickness. I already did once, so I already know. Um, in millimeters, you are looking at, like I said, right at about three, let me get it on there fully, 3.5 uh, behind the edge thickness. Let's go ahead and do that. This thing cuts really well. It's not super thin. Um, that's in millimeters. Let's go ahead. We'll go back. So there you can see it was point. What was that? Point, point what millimeters? Let's go ahead. Point, about point 0.6, point 0.7 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and we'll go back and we'll do those measurements in freedom units. Um, yeah, let's see here. You are looking at 0 0.135, 1.4-ish. Blade stock thickness and behind the edge, you are looking at right behind the edge, 0 0.2, or 0 0.02, 0 0.0195-ish. Um, yeah, so not super, super thin, but it does cut really well. So you have a handle length. Your handle is 4.0, four inch handle. It's done in a titanium frame lock. This one is in their frag pattern. They do have slick side. They have different finishes and you wanna talk about options. We'll, we'll look at some of the, the uh, options in opening and closing, but finish options they have even to the point where you can pick your finish for your for your thumb hole, your aperture, your little flicker hole here, um, and fuller. I mean, it is, man, it is snappy. Uh, so it's riding on, like I said, it's a full titanium frame lock with a nice titanium clip, by the way. We'll talk about that in a second. Ceramic bearings on hardened steel washers. Now, I've, for a long time, I was like, you know, if you do your handles right, you don't necessarily have to have those. Um, you know, titanium will work hard and your bearings will cut their own race in. I have noticed, though, that while that is true and you do still have a lot of knives that are really smooth that way, this is way smoother 
because it's riding on those hardened steel washers and the action on it's just amazing. So for a final spec, let's go grab that scale and get you the weight. So we got our Nick Shabazz certified gem here and we're gonna take a look at the weight. So in ounces, they say it's 3.67, three and five eighths. Uh, now there is a different weight I only got you the weight for this frag pattern. There's a different weight for the slick scale. It's actually a little bit heavier. They've went and listed that for you too. But in grams, for those of you that don't use freedom units, 105 grams, it's not a real heavy knife. So let's go ahead and get this scale out of the way. All right, guys, all the boring stuff's out of the way. You just gotta, you gotta get through all that. This thing, like I said in the intro, I get production knives in and sometimes they're, I mean, they're all good. I don't do, I try not to do videos on knives that are not good. Even knives I don't necessarily like still get reviewed and I can find good points on them. But every once in a while, you get one in that just is, it's outside of what you were expecting. This is one of those. The action on this, the way it feels in hand, once you get used to the way it feels in hand, it is super comfortable. So many different options. Uh, just in deployment, you have back flipper front flipper, which to tell you the truth, even the front flipper is not bad. This beautiful fuller slash opening aperture that just gives it a, a just such a unique look. It looks like a porthole, like a porthole on a, on a ship or maybe like an airplane viewport or window. I, I, it's just great. You have that beautiful logo that they've got on their pivot. And then everything about this, like I told somebody the other day, like I equated the, the thing with the 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 singer and, and karaoke you know one is i mean it's all there like on a lot of knives the production knives it's all there but something about it the little flourishes this has all of that everything on this the way you the way you deploy it the way it feels in hand where all the you know where all the little pieces are for the deployment just awesomely placed just thought out really well thought out no sharp spots at all the jimping goes all the way up so if you're holding it back here if you want to get in on it like this you can get in on this thing i'm not gonna lie this thing i cut some stuff out the other day this thing is great like this or even better like this cutting open boxes stuff that you typically would do oh see i didn't even wipe the blade off Things that you would typically do as a guy in an office or, you know, anyone in an office. But, you know, guys are usually the ones that are carrying like your EDC stuff. Not so much these days. There's a lot of women in the hobby now. But this is just about perfectly sized for, you know, something cool you could carry in an office. It's really futuristic looking. Typically, I'm more of a fan of a one-to-one -one blade to handle ratio. But for some reason on this, it works that the handle is significantly larger than the blade, like almost an inch. You have almost an extra inch of handle that you, you know, don't have in blade length, but it works. It's just one of those things. Pocket clip, kind of an unusual look at pocket clip. I've seen pocket clips like this before. Absolutely zero play. Perfect, perfect tension. The, the, the way that they scalloped off the, you know, and, and softened all the corners of all this uh, frag pattern in and out of pocket, no problem. A lot of times this uh, texture underneath a pocket clip, it can be problematic, it catches things. Sometimes these little areas here will catch your pocket. No problem at all on this. The detent, just about perfect. And it just listen to it, guys, listen. There is nothing. There is no noise, there's no friction, there's no bearing rattle, there's no drag that you hear. You hear nothing. Super, super smooth. And like I said, when I first got it, I was afraid I wasn't going to like it because it just felt weird in hand. But after I carried it for a little bit, I was like, wow, you know what? That really does work. That works well. You don't have to worry about like when you're holding it, am I going to get some tension? You know, I get some pressure on the lock bar and it's going to slip. No. And then even, even with this, it's kind of weird. Like I like the fact that this has that large lanyard hole because you know what it's symmetrical it gives me something where i see it at the front and the back and it gives it a really special look and i mean like i said guys i was so i was kind of surprised at how much i like this knife and you know you've got a lot of belly you've got a tip on it that is nice and acute if you need to cut things out i would like it to be a little larger for my hands but guys guess what they're making a larger version of this knife so all in all, 
Uh, shout out to QSP who did the machining on this. Um, I got to see some QSP knives for the first time at Blade Show West a few years ago. I was impressed then, and then seeing this, I'm impressed now. the the uh, the whole The whole thing here is great. They even, you know, your your lanyard hole goes through the backspacer, so you don't have to worry about like if you are carrying it with a lanyard that when you close it, you're going to cut your lanyard. There's a lot of knives you have that issue with, including some of the old school Sabenzas and some of the Sabenzas. There's a lot of knives that that just happens. So. Guys, that's all I got on this one. This thing is great. If you can get in on a pre-order, I think they're sold out now. Get in on a pre-order. These things are great. You will not be disappointed with the quality of the knife. It is truly, truly awesome. And like I said, they have so many different options with finish and deployment and all those things. It's just, it's it's a great, it's a great little knife. So well done, QSP. Well done, EMP with the design. Nicely, nicely done. Guys, let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. Like I said, I might not have carried this like hard use in day to day, but for the things I did do with it, it's great. The edge has held up great. It is a nice, nice little knife. And the fact that there's so many options with deployment, it makes it so much fun to carry. And it's one of those ones that if you pull it out of your pocket, it's gonna get intention. So guys, that's it on this one. Uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content. If you don't, tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like I always say, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, watch the videos. It's the best thing you can do to push us back up the algorithm after we've made our epic tumble here recently. Um, but if you want to support the channel financially, there's a lot of ways you can do it. I have a lot of things down in the description below. First and foremost is the membership. It gets you in on early access to video, exclusive content, uh, premium tier sharpening tutorial series, monthly giveaways, and if you're a member, you save $5 per knife off my sharpening service, makes it $20 a knife. Um, other ways, I have affiliate links down below in a lot of different places, including amazon.com. Anything you purchase through those affiliate links I make a little bit of money and it doesn't cost you anything extra at checkout. It just kind of supports the channel. The final way is my merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. I have set you up a coupon code. It's crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp. It saves you 10% at checkout anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. Um, and if you send me a picture of you wearing any of my merchandise, I will put it in the videos, the pictures, somewhere, either in the background or in the video. Guys. I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it so much easier for me to keep the channel moderated and off of YouTube's radar with naughty stuff. Um, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you guys in the next video.